human papillomavirus or a pharynx cancer is now the eighth most common cancer in men in the United States. Um, and those numbers are continuing to go up. So it's very significant. Historically, the major causes were smoking and alcohol use, um, with smoking being the highest, alcohol being second, and then the two, if you use both of those together, your risk was really high. So that's what we're seeing now actually is um, cancers of the, what we call the oropharynx. So that's the tonsil and the very back of the tongue. Um, these are cancers that come from a viral infection called the human papillomavirus. And human papillomavirus is a common ubiquitous virus that most people are exposed to. And in a very unfortunate few, it will live in the body as a chronic infection and eventually that can produce a tumor and later in a person's life. Papillomavirus induced tumors hit a very healthy young patient population. So the first pitfall is a person comes in, they have a sore throat or they have a lump in their neck and they go to see their doctor and nobody suspects that that person has a tumor. The first thing to pass on is if a patient has a lump in the neck for a long time don't ignore it. Don't think it's something common like a virus or an infection. Think that they might have a tumor and do the appropriate diagnostic tests. But that tumor also, very interestingly, it responds extremely well to treatment. 90% of the people with papillomavirus-induced tumor are cured by treatment. They have a very high cure rate for these kinds of tumors. And so we've looked at being able to decrease the amount of treatment that they get. They don't need the historical heavy-handed surgery and radiation. They can do very well with limited minimally invasive surgery and a decreased dose of targeted radiotherapy and maybe targeted chemotherapy. They have much fewer side effects from those treatments and still have a high cure rate.